welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I am going to go over this pour. I wasn't really happy with it. It was great. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but I'm not really particularly loving it and I didn't want to sell it. So I'm going to go over it. And yes, you can do that. These were very thin paints, so uh, because it was a Dutch pour, so it hasn't left any thick blobby blit, blobby blitz, blobby blitz, blobby bits. Oh my goodness! So I am going to pour over it. So um, I have lots of questions asked. Can you pour over it? Sometimes they do crack if you have a lot of paint already on your canvas that you're pouring over. So I hopefully this one won't. I have some gorgeous colours made up here, so for a start I am going to just pour this lovely, um, it's called Haze, Haze, so it's a really nice sort of lilac-y, just a pale lilac, so I'm going to do this one today, this colour, and add some yummy colours to it. So these particular bio cups, you can keep washing and reusing. So I certainly will be doing that. In Australia, they're going to phase out the use of the uh, plastic cups and only use recyclable ones. So um, that's a good thing. It's a good thing for our environment. So that's not, not um, a bad thing whatsoever. So I'm just gently spreading this out and this is all you have to do. So I will speed this bit up to save you the um, watching me spread this out. Okay, we're here again. So let's get some yummy colors on here. See how we go. This is the, just the phalo blue on its own. My pouring medium is in the drop down box. Uh, these particular colors have got no silicone in. So just take your time, relax and enjoy because this is all part of the journey. Rightio, so in with that. Phalo blue, I'm going to put some orange. Ooh. Then on to a little bit of the fluoro orange because I really would like it to pop out okay that's enough of that and then the purple which is yeah it's just called ultraviolet purple ultraviolet so I'm going to run that down the very edges because that's going to look nice against that haze colour, that lilac-y colour. Run it down there. Hmm, what next? I think I am going to just stick with those colours today and just add some white in there. Yeah, I've got, I just made up a one litre white with my normal pouring medium, which is, it's in the drop down box, but it is the clear craft glue at 70-30 mix, 70% 70 glue, 30 water, and added to my paint, um, and, and then a little bit of Floetrol in each each cup so the pouring medium is in the drop down box it's very easy it's not no big secret it works for me every time if you're in the US and it, the um, oh, 
the Montmartre clear glue is harder to get if you're in the US, then you can use the Elmer's Glue All, works really well too. But you can now get all of these products online and they ship worldwide and that's in the drop down box. Um, okay, what do I want to do with this? Let's take this one, give it a bit of a tilt either way. And it looks a bit, a bit like a blizzard, <laughs> a colourful blizzard, but a blizzard. Oh, that's what I would like to add. This is my Berry Delicious, which is the real dark red, um, deep red, with a blob of the phalo blue and a blob of black. So this is the real deep cherry. Berry Delicious, as I call it, and I love it. Righty-o. Do I want to swipe that or don't I? Should I or shouldn't I? Let me give it. I'll swipe from the centre. This is just a little bit of the black. Um, was it? Yeah, no, it was black. Uh, Amsterdam with Floetrol only. So I'm going to see. I might give it a swipe and see what it looks like swiping I've got a piece of card that's only for that one that one will do hopefully okie doke let's pop it just on that swipe colour ooh it sent it really dark you don't have to swipe this actually for it to work out beautifully but look at those cells Gorgeous. So I suppose having the dark with all the light will look fine. Cells are just popping up. Really lovely, lovely, lovely. So let's just give this a bit of a, a blow. Oh, I know what I would like to do. Add some of my Amsterdam. That's just the Amsterdam White and Floetrol. It just helps make really lovely cells. That is so pretty. That's so lovely. Okie doke, I might turn that around. Let's see what I get this side. Oh, that's what <laughs> reminded me yesterday. I see that the Massey boys, um, Lee and Jeremy, 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 oh my gosh, I can't say that, sorry. Uh, did a kiss and blow and they did a wonderful job it was the first efforts of the boys and they did awesome so I will link their video to the Massey boys that tried the kiss and blow and it turned out so lovely I'm so proud of them oh look at them Beautiful. 
Let's add, 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 if I can find it. I've got a little piece of just soft plastic file divider here. I'm going to just do some little tendrils up there. Just adds a bit of softness to the whole piece. This is gorgeous, absolute gorgeous. Alrighty, um, I am going to just put a bit of this white and I will get my balloon. Have I got one? Oh, it's deflated, oh, me kitty one. Balloon magic happens, it's deflated a bit, so. Let's see if it works. If not, I'll walk away and leave it for a little while. Can bring it back to life. Oh, look at that. Let's see. Fireflies and fairies. I think I need to, if you were in this stage, you would walk away and leave it for the paint to dry into the canvas for, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour. I am, um, you get better results, but I'm pushed for time today because I'm going out and I will be leaving this canvas. So I'm going to push on with it. You can push into the same spot as long as you wipe off your balloon each time. You still get lovely results, but if you're a beginner doing this, it's easier, far easier to walk away and just leave it for a while. I kind of wish that I hadn't have swiped. It has brought up some lovely cells, but it is really nice when you don't swipe as well and you do these balloon kisses in here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I like pushing the balloon in close to the edges because it seems to really uh, bring up a lovely effect too. Oh, what am I doing? I'm in nincompoop. I'm going, I would have done far better to have walk away and leave this for a little while. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm a nincompoop. Yes, a nincompoop. Alrighty. I think that that is enough and I might come back and embellish it with my little teeny tiny balloon and see what I get but, and finish off my edges but I'm quite happy with that. I absolutely love those colours together. Um, ooh. But if I was doing this again, I, would, I really should just walk away and leave the paint to dry off for 20 minutes because the balloon kisses come out far nicer. The paint absorbs into the canvas, um, it evens out. So I will just leave this to dry. I might just come back in a few seconds with my little teeny tiny balloon and I will leave it there. But I'll bring the camera down and get some close-ups for you so you can see the effects of this one are quite stunning. So thank you guys anyway for joining me again today and I will be back tomorrow. So take care you lovely people. Until tomorrow, bye for now. As you can see, it's, oh, the light reflecting, but it's quite gorgeous up close. It's very nice. It's a bit, yeah, reflection is not so good, but these are the lovely effects that you get from the kiss and blow technique. It's fun to do, there's a few stages to it, but it's fun to do and you get some wonderful results. Look at that, looks like a, definitely looks like a butterfly with the legs and the head. 
and those gorgeous cells in that phalo blue. Very nice. I'm very happy with it. There you go. Thank you guys for joining me on this wonderful journey. And as I said before, see you tomorrow. Take care.